The new update in Red Dead Online next week is bringing a host of new features that we are all really excited to sink our teeth into, but one in particular has a lot of players curious. Whether they be curious about new microtransaction systems, or whether it's about how this piece of new content will be implemented and how it will affect the Red Dead Online gameplay loop. And so far, the reception and announcement of this particular item has been a mixed bag, with some players really pumped for this new system and some worried about the future of Red Dead Online. And in this video, we will be taking a look at the new Roll Token system and what it really means for us as players in Red Dead Online when the new update drops Tuesday, September 10th. We are basically going to be talking about what we know so far about these Roll Tokens, what's been confirmed, what hasn't, and hopefully this video will give us a top-down perspective and will hopefully answer some of those burning questions you may have as to why exactly these Roll Tokens matter when this update drops, what you should use them on or save them for, and what they really mean. So drop a like if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and make sure to follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram at HazardousHDTV to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest Red Dead Redemption 2 news and information. I will be live on Twitch.tv slash HazardousHDTV later on today. I am live on Twitch every single day, live streaming the grind for gold and money in Red Dead Online before this update, and we will be going absolutely insane when this update drops. I will have a live stream early that morning so you guys can get a jump on all the new content content and we will be playing around with it all morning and you guys are really going to love it. So for those unaware of what roll tokens are, I am going to share with you all what Rockstar has confirmed for us in the Tuesday, September 3rd Newswire. I will quickly run through all of that with you and then we can talk about the other important things we need to get across inside of this video. With each roll, you'll always have new pursuits to embark upon that lead to new unique items and skills as you progress, in addition to cash and gold payouts. So you will be making cash and gold in addition to progressing through these roles and the ranks in Red Dead Online. And as Red Dead Online continues to evolve, more frontier pursuits will be added, giving you new roles, new choices, and more ways to personalize your path through the world of Red Dead Online. Each role automatically earns role XP as you complete a role's activities. When you hunt a bounty, you'll earn roll XP toward the bounty hunter. When you find a collectible, you'll earn roll XP towards the collector, and so on. Roll XP counts towards your progression through 20 roll ranks. You will reach a new tier of distinction every 5 ranks. Novice, Promising, Established, and Distinguished. Unlocking a roll rank earns roll tokens, and at certain ranks you'll also unlock new skills, such as the bounty hunter ability to duck for protection on horseback, or a trader's ability to train their camp dog to warn of a raid by camp thieves, upgrades to your satchel's carrying capacity, or access to new role-specific free roam events. Each tier in the role has also has a kit of items that are unique to the role itself and can be unlocked for purchasing using role tokens. For example, the trader's novice kit gives you access to seven trader role items including a unique saddle, gun belt, and a stew pot that provides your camp with fresh meals to refill your cores and your posse's cores and additional recipes to prepare special stews for gold reinforced cores. While the Bounty Hunter's established kit gives you access to seven Bounty Hunter roll items, including a bounty wagon to hold multiple bounty targets, the bolus throwing weapon to tangle the legs of bounties, a new outfit, and more. Players that progress to distinguished ranks will have earned a range of new skills that will be useful in all their pursuits across the frontier, advanced camp styles and comforts, and recognizable clothing items that will show off their accomplishments in each discipline, which again, is novice, promising, established, and distinguished. So we are just going to talk about these roll tokens and give a quick roundup here. You earn gold and money and roll tokens while playing as the rolls. Normal XP wasn't really mentioned in this newswire for the rolls, although I'm sure you're still earning normal XP to rank up, you know, when you hit level 5, 25, 50, whatever rank you are in Red Dead Online, you are earning regular XP and you're also earning XP for the rolls themselves. Whether the XP system is a little bit different, you may be earning whatever normal amount of XP you typically earn in Red Dead Online, and the roll XP, call it level 1 to level 2, may only be 100 XP, but per mission you may get like 55 XP or something. It may be different than the normal XP system, but just so you guys can be aware and know this, you are earning gold, you are earning money in addition to the roll XP and the roll tokens as you progress through each roll in Red Dead Online. So you don't have to worry about that. While you're playing these roles, it's just like playing the game. You'll be making money, making gold, and ranking up, as well as ranking up your new roll tiers. Now, new tiers of distinction every five ranks. 
novice promising established and distinguished you can earn new role tokens for every new role rank reached and you can use these to unlock new items and skills there's items you earn when you rank up your role that will be available for the rest of your gameplay like those gun spinning tricks for the bounty hunter or upgraded satchel carrying capacity but there's also kit items in which you can spend those role tokens on that apply exclusively to that role for example, the horse lantern or refined binoculars for the collector. You can't use that horse lantern on the on your horse's breastplate or the refined binoculars if you're not the collector class. Now, I don't know if you get to the max, if it unlocks for everything or anything like that, but you need to unlock those specific items with that rank and you need the appropriate roll tokens to do so. So you may need to be level 15 to get the refined binoculars in the collector roll and that will take oh so many roll tokens to actually unlock. Now once you have it unlocked, there's also a question of if it applies to other roles. That's what I'm saying. Maybe if you get to level 20 as that roll and you complete the roll and you master it or whatever they want to call it, maybe you can unlock those skills for other roles as well. But it seems like the roll kit items, the exclusive items for that role are going to stay the exclusive items for that role, meaning you cannot wear that bounty hunter outfit that's a part of the bounty hunter role kit as a trader or a collector. And that way, it gives a little bit of a differentiation here. There's a little bit of variety with each role. Players are going to look different. Players are going to play the game differently. And they're also going to be distinguished differently in the game because you know that that specific outfit is only available for that specific role. And that is how people are going to stand out as players now. And that's really exciting. So we have those things and the same applies to what appears to be the exclusive outfits like I talked about and accessories like new clothing and holsters and gear we could see in some of these screenshots here of this new Red Dead Online update. Now, overall, this new system forces every player to actually play the game and money glitchers who have been waiting to cheese the entire update in the first hour and buy all the content in the first hour just after updating their game will still need to play the game. They need to reach the required roll rank and then spend their roll unlock token that they earned on a specific item to unlock it, just like the rest of us here who are playing legitimately. And if you are actively playing Red Dead Online, testing out the new roles, you will gain tons of roll tokens for your new kit unlocks and you will be progressing through the new Outlaw Pass that was just announced yesterday. If you guys are actively playing this game, playing for a couple hours a week, you will be able to unlock all of this stuff very easily here in Red Dead Online. Of course, it's going to take time, but every single game takes time to rank up to reach the max rank. People don't hit 10th Prestige in Call of Duty in one day. People don't hit Battlefield Colonel 100 Star in one day in Battlefield. It's the same thing for Red Dead Online. You will not reach roll rank 20 in the first day, most likely. I would imagine the hardest grinders out there will reach it within the first week depending on how hard they play and how expansive and vast these roll ranks are, but I'm assuming that since these are going to be expanded in the future, rank 20 is just like that minimum thing now, you'll be able to reach that before the next DLC update, absolutely fine, you will definitely be okay, but also one more thing, a couple weeks ago I made videos on exactly what you should be doing to prepare for this new Red Dead Online update, each of the roles have a buy in fee and unless you are a Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime member, or you are on PlayStation 4, or you've collected all 54 playing cards in Grand Theft Auto 5, you will need to purchase these rolls in game at 15 gold bars per roll. That is the price, 45 gold bars in total for all three rolls. Personally, I don't think it's that much, but of course I understand there are a lot of new players out there who are trying to save for this update while at the same time trying to rank up and acquire all the items the high level players have been using since release, and even people who haven't played in a while who necessarily may have played before and are now coming back to the game. I understand where you're coming from, and so for those of you who do need help, I will leave the link to tips and tricks videos down in the description below where you can find all the best methods to grinding gold as fast as possible as well as exactly what you should be doing to earn money fast and easy and gold fast and easy in Red Dead Online. No glitches, no exploits, just straight to the point, best money, gold, and XP methods down in the description below. I uploaded them earlier in August as we prepared for the update, and now the update is finally releasing. I'd rather not make those videos again for you guys. You can just reference them. The links are down in the description below. But with all that said and out of the way, that is everything here that is up on deck for these roll tokens in this summer update. I think a lot of us are looking forward to more information being shared about these roll tokens, and we'll see where it all goes when the update releases, and I will keep you guys all up to date here on the channel. But hopefully you enjoy 
enjoyed the video, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you looking forward to seeing anything else in particular with the summer update? Whatever it is, feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And with that said, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure to drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Red Dead Online and Red Dead Redemption 2. I got you covered with the best of updates, news, information, tips, tricks, leaks, and all that good stuff. And also Grand Theft Auto Online and The Last of Us Part 2 content. Can't forget about those. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram, and also get connected with me outside of YouTube, you can follow me at Hazardous HDTV, and all of those links can be found in the description down below. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.